In previous lecture, we talked about top-down design to analyze uh, how a program can be done. And uh, in this lecture, we will be focused on bottom-up implementation using a flowchart. And uh, let's look at uh, how this can help us. <clears throat> and uh, before we go into the flowchart and bottom-up uh, the uh, implementation, I would like to introduce one open source uh, tool. This is totally free. You can download from this website and this uh, download page uh, image. Uh, you can take a look on this program and download it to try. In this lecture, we will build up the print calendar program by a button-up implementation method. And here is the top-down design result we have. That's the calling hierarchy of the uh, print calendar program. And uh, these are the stops, the header files. So we have so many methods to build. And right here is the flowchart symbols. Some of the important one is the terminator. Sometimes this is also called as uh, the star or the end uh, symbol. It's an oval shape with uh, a rectangle. And here is a process for the rectangle. Uh, this you basically put some uh, statement or process in uh, this uh, rectangle box. Uh, the diamond shape with the uh, uh, box is for decision, actually for if, else if, or the uh, case uh, uh, the uh, switch uh, statement and uh, this one with uh, parallelism uh, shape it it's uh, for our input and output we call it data or, or uh, IO uh, element and this one with uh, tilt uh, shape is called document sometimes it's a print out uh, report and multiple we don't uh, it's uh, not so important and the subroutine this is uh, for main, uh, function call uh, usually, if subroutine in the old days is the void type, uh, no uh, return, we call it subroutine, and uh, with the return we call it uh, uh, actually call it function or method. And this uh, uh, trapezoidal uh, shape it is a manual input that's for keyboard input or something like that. And here are more uh, uh, detailed symbols that uh, we won't be uh, focused on this. Uh, we I just introduced those uh, basic one. And the first function we would like to implement is the lowest uh, uh, method that is uh, in, the, in the calling hierarchy. We call it uh, is a uh, leap year. And uh, if it is a 400, a uh, year is a multiple of 400, then we decided it's uh, true for leap year. And it is a multiple, not a multiple of the 400, but it's a 400, uh, multiple of uh, 100. We uh, return the uh, force. And if it is a multiple of four, but not multiple of a hundred, then we decided uh, uh, it's uh, true as well. So this uh, uh, this uh, is the flowchart for this uh, it's deep uh, year uh, method. But here is the implementation. It's slightly different, but you can look at it uh, to know about its uh, logic. And here is another uh, method called uh, get number of days in the month. If you uh, give a, a year and month, if the month is uh, these numbers, we return 31. And if the months are these, it's uh, uh, April, June, September, and November, we return 30. And in the February, if this year, we return 29. And uh, not we return 28, this is OK. And if none of this uh, go through, because if one of it go through, and it will uh, return, and the, the method will be break. It will be broken, and if none of it uh, finish it, then uh, we will return zero. That means that the month the number is uh, wrong. And here is the it's a, a flow chart. Basically, you check uh, each condition. If it's true, you break out with a certain return number. And the last one is the if you cannot find it. And the previous two uh, example, I give you the call and also the. A flow chart. The rest of it, I will just give you the uh, flow chart because uh, in the next uh, lecture we will have the union project. You need to use this uh, flow chart, and I'm I'm not going to give you the pseudo code, and then you need to work on these uh, uh, methods. So this one we I basically go through the function uh, to get a total number of days in a certain uh, e uh, uh, for a certain year and months. Uh, it, it is compared to uh, the, the days uh, January 1st, uh, 1800. So we set the total date to zero and set I to uh, 
for the number of years to uh, 1800 and you study from 1800 to uh, so sum up the total days for the day for a year from from your uh, year of interest to uh, uh, 1800 and if it is year you give a uh, uh, 366 if it is a normal year you give a uh, 355 and then you do iteration and uh, if if you, you reach the year then you get a force and you reset because that year of interest is not a full year so you only count the number of months up to the months of interest so you set the months uh, starting from uh, one and then uh, uh, bef end at the a year that uh, uh, is one month before the e e months of interest because the uh, months of interest you have a relative uh, number of uh, days so then you sum up the total uh, days for these different months and you need to call the get number of days in months and then iterate it and the number of days in months is actually the previous uh, method and then uh, if you finish it uh, return the total and this is the get start of the uh, start day of the year, certain year and months this is for uh, when we go into the calling hierarchy start day is when we put months you need to know about uh, the number of day in the months and also need to go know about what day that it uh, gets started so two measures you need to call so this is another measure you need to call and uh, to do that you can basically set uh, you know that the 1800 January 1st is uh, uh, Wednesday and then you get the number of the days and uh, Num the total number of days and you try to find out uh, uh, find out by tag modular and then you find out uh, what day it is for the day uh, for, for the starting date of the uh, of the certain year and months and right here is the print months body print months body is the one that call both the start of the day and uh, get number of day in months because you need to print out the lower part of the your calendar and right here is the algorithm basically uh, you uh, need to know about the start day and the number of day uh, for that month and then you uh, start to print out the empty space uh, for those days that not, not in there and then you uh, print out those days and then you know the start to print out uh, your, your uh, uh, first day of the month and then because you have already got that many uh, spaces so in and right here you start to print out the months uh, from the day one and then each one you print a uh, four space matching this uh, empty space uh, for four uh, digit uh, is it, uh, it is a uh, uh, right uh, justified and then if you are matching the seven day you need to change your line because that's already one week so you use this master and when you match the seven day and then you print a, a, a line otherwise you continue to print in the same line until you finish the month and you get out as a print mass month body to get the month name that is the part of the part of the header part for the header part you get the month name and then you print the month title that's for total uh, Three months need to call these two master and because the flow chart is uh, more complicated I just give you the function because it just return a certain uh, month name and then print out the title is easy just print out some header I, I think this is uh, uh, easy and uh, the as I mentioned that the day call Sunday is 0 Monday is 1 Tuesday 2 Wednesday 3 so the January 1st of the 1800 is a Wednesday is the 3 and uh, the print months that's a both print out the title and the uh, and the body is just easy like this and the main function you start and then get year from console get months from uh, console uh, you get a, and then you call the print months and then you will finish the, your uh, main program for the uh, this uh, print uh, calendar and that's for go for look at uh, the DR tool. The DR tool is right here. As you can see, I give you the this uh, 
main functions uh, 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 chart, and you can actually download the whole uh, package for the whole uh, uh, project. After you download the DR diagram in the tool, we can take a look on uh, this uh, tool. And right here is the component uh, for the UML, that's for object oriented programming. You can click and change it to flowchart, that's for flowchart. And right here, this is a tool for, uh, this is an example for our main program. And this line is too long. You can click on the one side and drag it down. You can resize it. And then up here are the connector or the different uh, uh, line or shape that you customize the shape you can draw. And uh, this tool is a little bit like a uh, Photoshop. So you have the layer. And if you know about it, you can add a layer so that uh, certain layer you won't uh, touch it. Or you can smash it, something like that. And you have also have object you can bring to the front uh, for editing or bring to the back when it has an overlap. And here are the select. You can can do a union intersect or remove or reverse. That's when two uh, file you try to glue them together or try to have a different shape. And here is a tool that you can use. Uh, these are details, but you can take a look on it. And uh, input method you have different uh, uh, language uh, uh, input method. And on the sec second uh, line tool bar. You can uh, swing the size of the window, or or actually expand it. Sorry, my computer is kind of slow today. It's not following my instruction right away. And uh, here uh, you can save uh, or uh, print it. And right here you have the uh, save. You can save the file or new a uh, new uh, design. It will open a new uh, diagram. Or you can open uh, one like this print uh, dia, and then uh, you, if you want to uh, save it as an image file, you can use this uh, a tool, and then choose the directory you want. We want you want to go to to save the file, and check down. Go to here, right here. And then say document. I have the all of the DR file and the image file in this directory, and you can choose a different file format. Uh, here are several file format you can choose. You have the SVG file for vector graphic, that's more uh, detail. You can save it as a for the internet. There are also the PNG file, uh, JPG file, TIFF file, BMP file. And different kind of file you can save. When you click save, it take a while for today. Something on today. Let me redo it. And you will come up with a certain uh, option. You can change the image size of your own. Uh, this the width and height are in pixels. And you click export, and it, it will be saving the file for you. So you can take a look on this tool and uh, have some fun. And then these tool, uh, the 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 flowchart part will be useful when you go to uh, next uh, uh, lecture. We have the Unum project. Thank you.